If this isn't going to change people's lives, if this is not going to make a dent in the universe, I don't want to do it. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top tips on how successful people think and act. Hey guys, I'm James Sinclair and in this video I'm going to share with you the things that I do and all the things that I've discovered successful people do. I employ over 400 people, we turn millions of pounds in our business each and every single year and I think my thinking and the way that I think has really helped grow my business and hopefully it can grow your business too. If you love videos like this about marketing, personal development, success and business growth, make sure you hit subscribe and that little notification bell so the gods of YouTube can let you know when we're bringing out great new content to grow your business. So guys, I'm going to share with you now my favourite points on what successful business owners do to grow their business. And the big one, the big catalyst for successful people is really mindset and the way they think and the way they do things while the way they think. So number one, here's what they do. This is by far what every successful person does, whether they're employed, they're in senior management, they're a leader, they're a person in education, or indeed a business owner, entrepreneur. It's they think and they have the ability to think with the end in mind. Most people don't have this and this is the power thing. If you've got this then everything starts slotting into place. If you know your destination you can really plan that journey far easier. So successful business owners always think with the end in mind. What does your business look like when it's finished? What's the profit of that business? What's the turnover? What's the values, the culture? What locations you are? Are you going to be a national brand? If you can think bigger you are going to get bigger things. Most people don't think big enough and I just think that's given me a distinct advantage over most people. I just think bigger than most people. I just think, well, look, if this isn't going to turn a million pounds and make a million pounds, if this isn't going to be a national brand, if this isn't going to be a scale business, if this isn't going to employ a great team, if this isn't going to change people's lives, if this is not going to make a dent in the universe, I don't want to do it. And because of that bigger thinking and the thinking that with the end in mind, I think that we always win and that's what successful business owners do. Let's move on. Point number two, the big one leverage. Successful people think with leverage. And what is leverage? Well, people that are successful leverage their time. So they do jobs that are once that repeat forever. So I write books. I'm writing this video right now. We're going to put this video on YouTube. It's going to be there for years. So that's leverage time. If you're doing the same repeatable tasks, so if you're in an operations role and you're always doing customer service, always replying to emails, always opening up, cashing up, um, always doing the operations of the business, that's unleveraged time. We need to get other people to do that so that we can do the bigger picture stuff that's going to keep them people in, employed and that's going to grow our business, that's going to grow our economy. See, if you're in the running the business rather than the building the business stuff, you're always going to be in the same place all the time. So I'm trying to always leverage time. That's why I write books. I write a book, I do the work once, get paid forever or get the work done forever. Next one, money. They leverage money. You know, some people will will borrow money, they'll leverage that borrow, they'll have equity in a property or equity in a business, they'll leverage that equity to grow their business and they are very comfortable about doing that. I'm very comfortable about doing that. Some people have a real problem with that, like some people have a real problem with employing people, that is a real, makes them feel uneasy. I can't wait to employ people, I can't wait to leverage money, borrow money to grow our businesses. The last thing is leveraging of assets, if you own property and there's a big chunk of equity in it, successful people think, well, I might as well just take that equity and reinvest it to grow the business. And crucially, they feel absolutely comfortable with the power of leverage. If you've got a problem with leverage, that's going to be a real struggle for you to grow your business. Let's move on. So let's just really go on this time leverage thing. Successful people buy in time. And what does that mean? So, you know, if you're doing tasks that are administration based like I did, I'll just buy in someone to help me do that so I can do the bigger picture thinking stuff that the person that's doing those tasks doesn't want to do the bigger picture thinking stuff because we're all different we've all got different DNA and we need to respect the different DNA when I started out my first person that I employed was a cleaner a cook and a cleaner and liner because I didn't want to do those things but the person that was doing the ironing loved organizing my house and doing the cleaning and stuff that gave me more time to do sales and marketing I'd done that when I was 17 years old because I had that mindset that this was the right thing to do. So don't be scared to buy other people's time to make your time more efficient 
And the crucial thing is successful people do that with ease. They don't even realize that that's a big step for most people to do. They just accept that that must be done. Let's move on. Successful people are unlike most people. Successful people can move on from a bad news situation. Here's the phrase that really sums it up for me. Don't be bitter, be better. See, most people, when people are let down, they get bitter about it. They want revenge. They want to get one done over on the other person. Me, I just think, you're going to do me over. Someone's going to do me over. Hopefully, I'm going to live till I'm 85 years old. Someone's going to do me over once every three months or once a year or once every other year. I don't let me get that down. I just think that's a learning curve of life. I've learned something from it. I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be bitter. Hey, I've even been really nice to people after they've really let me down, after they've done me over. Try not to be bitter, try to be better. That's what successful people do. Here's the big thing that I always did. You know, when I was growing up and I said, look, I want to own my own business, the people closest to me, that's friends and family, are telling me about the risks of business ownership, telling me about the risks of entrepreneurship, telling me that it probably won't work. Well, I didn't want to hear any of that stuff. I didn't want them getting into my brain telling me problems that could happen. So I remove what I call the mood hoovers. Just remove mood hoovers that don't let you get to where you want to be. Surround yourself by successful people. Surround yourself by people more successful than you. Hey, great Jim Rohn saying, check out Jim Rohn on YouTube, great guy. He always said you're the average of the five people that you spend most of your time with. So make sure that you surround yourself by people smarter than you to up your smart game. It's a really smart thing to do. <laughs> you know, Jim Rohn also said, if you want me to show me your, your future, show me your friends. Who your circle is around you, non-mood hoovers, the super successful people around you are gonna help make you super successful. It just works. So guys, hope you love this video. If you wanna come and see me live for free, why don't you come along to my business growth seminar? I run this at one of my businesses. It's a full afternoon in growing your business for free. Tried and tested stuff that I'm up to that's actually growing my business right now. People have left rave reviews and they've really enjoyed growing their business from coming to one of my seminars. Now in the video description, I put a little link. Click on the link and it'll take you to a website where you can book along to come and see me for free. See you real soon, bye bye.